Salam and Patong, and welcome to the first ever completely virtual Singapore Lunar New Year celebration. I'm your host Maggie, and this is also Maggie. Tonight you'll see performances from a variety of artists representing our country's rich cultural and musical heritage. Why are you taking off your mask? Don't you know we're in a pandemic? Well, Singapore is actually handling COVID really well. We have a fatality rate of half a percent, with only 29 deaths off of almost 60,000 cases, and we're already in phase three of restrictions. That's true, and that means that everyone is still to wear the mask, and there are limitations on the number of people in a gathering. Yeah, but we're the same person, okay, and COVID fair. is relatively easy handle here but Singapore is so small. Anyway, Singapore may be small but you can say that again. The entire island city-state is four-fifths the size of New York City but has almost six million people and one of the highest population densities in the but world. But it has an incredibly diverse population with people of Malay, Chinese, and Indian heritage among others. Our first performance tonight is Muli Hua. Chinese culture is prevalent in Singapore with over three-fourths of Singaporeans ethnically Chinese. The pipa is a traditional part of Chinese orchestra and it looks like Maggie has chosen to wear its a Chinese dress. This is beautiful, isn't it? Now let's go on to our next performance, where two members of the Singapore Symphony Orchestra will be performing for us. Today's Symphony Orchestra wasn't founded during British colonization of the island, which ended in 1963, but it still performs overwhelmingly Western music, as do most orchestras in the world. It's an important reminder that Singapore is very much influenced by Western music and culture decades after colonization. But let's enjoy tonight's performance and welcome our violinists. difficult financial situations. That's true, Singapore doesn't have a strictly drawn poverty line, so less affluent people are often overlooked in a city with the highest concentration of millionaires in the world. But hopefully your musical or career helps. While well, speaking of musical careers, let's go on to our last performance, a cover of Jasmine Soko's Tired. Soko is one of the most streamed artists Before in Singapore in only 25. Will you go on a date with me? Yes, I'm so lonely. Wait, is that legal? Homosexual activity is still legal today between male adults in Singapore because of sodomy laws inherited from the British Empire. But you guys should be good since laws banning lesbianism were repealed in 2007. Now you're thinking about marriage. I'm not ready for that kind of commitment well, yet. Well, same-sex marriages are still illegal so you couldn't get married anyway. Singaporean society is relatively conservative, but more and more people, and especially younger generations, are in favor of legalizing same-sex marriage. And we may see I'm a change really in the near that future. You've agreed, but could I please start? I'm so sorry. Go Thank ahead. I'm on my own in the corner with these people I don't know somehow. It's like a lovely situation I can think my way out of. Now these eyes ain't breaking, so it's melted in my drink Where the taste is falling like your insincerity Lately I just feel so tired, not because I'm my sleep Not going to cheer for your girlfriend? Professionalism. I hope that you've all enjoyed tonight's performances. From Chinese and Western style orchestra to pop yeah yeah and EDM, Singapore has a vast musical and cultural landscape that we've been glad to share. Remember to stay safe. We'd like to wish you all a happy new year. Happy happy new year. Year.